Hello students, in this video, what I am going to discuss about how can you write down the references in your research paper or how can you write down the references for your uh, report of final year project. So for this purpose, I have decided to make this video and hopefully it will be clear to all of you how can you write the references in your reports of your research paper or final year project after watching this video. So let's have a start and you can see there is an example is in front of you and you can see that how did I write down the reference over here. So uh, how did I write it over here? So let me tell you this is the uh, name of the writer and then what is this after writer's name then there is the published year then we have the title of the project or research paper then the journal in which it is published then we have to put the volume number and issue and then page numbers of the re research paper so let's have a start and how I, I am going to write it down and let's take this example as it is for example if i am going to write down this uh, format after looking at the research paper so which research paper so let me tell you because i have opened it so i want to show this which one is the research paper so let me take tell you the example of this research paper and let me share with you for example i am taking this research paper and you can see over here it's published here is september 2020 let me increase its size so it will be more visible to all of you. And now you can see the title of the research paper and you can see the volume issue of the paper, ISSN number. And then what we have, we have the name of the writer over here. CH Kusuma Tejasvi CH Devi. So how can I write it down? Let me tell you and let me check the page number. So you can see the its first page number is 51 so it is starting from 51 till let me tell you is that 57 so page number is from 51 to 57 so let's have a look how i am going to write it down as i have done it uh, previously as well so let's have a look i am going to copy it this name first because i have to write down the name of the writer first so let me put it on, let me share the screen and let me put it on my Word document and let's have a look. How can you interpret it? For example, if I have already written first uh, reference, so I can write it down. It's number two. So the name, it will be control V. This is the actually the name. So this is two. Number one author is author, main author is this. So how can I write it down? If you can see here that I wrote the name of the writer, let me highlight it. How did I write it? I wrote it the last name of the writer first, Tejasvi, and you can see over here, it is visible to all of you. Then what I have done, I will go in a sequence from the start. So I will take this first letter of the name. So what I will take SH, dot k dot so it will be like this so let's have a look i'm going to write it down tejasvi tejasvi comma ch it should be capital full stop full stop now this is the name of the first writer is done now you can see ch maybe it's chaudhry and whatever it is so I wrote the last name first of the writer and then I wrote the name first name of the writer in a sequence. So CH first then K. It's done. This is the first author. So second author will be what? It is CH Devi. CH Devi. So what I have to do, I have to write down the last name of the writer Devi first and then write down comma and then I have to write down CH full stop and now you can see the right name of the writer is the CH Devi so I wrote Devi first then CH if you mo have more than writer more than two three four writers so you can write it down et.al at all 
so it means that you uh, pronounced all the writer's name so now it's the writer's name is done hopefully it is clear to all of you let's me see the published air so let me show the next again the screen of the research paper and now you can see the published year is 2020 and the volume is 7 issue 4 and title is a study on mechanical properties of concrete using dust using marble dust dry sausage. So let, re, let's copy it and I am going to here. So what I have to do, I have to write down the publication here in the bracket, then full stop, then I will write down the title of the research paper. Now it is done, then I will put comma and now let me check what in which journal it is published. So let me see. So the published journal is IJIRT. So what is its name? Yes, International Journal of Research in Technology. So let me see control copy and I am moving towards the which word document and now you can see i will copy paste it over here but it is coming into the caps lock i can change it say so i can write it down as well international journal of innovative research and technology research in technology in technology so now what i have to do next volume issue and page numbers i have already discussed with you that the page number of this research paper is from 51 to 57 so it's not necessary it is 1 to 10 or 1 to 15 it it can be in a sequence but it can be in of any number so this is page number 50 it starts from 51 and it is going to till 57 so 51 to 57 and volume is 7 issue 4 so let's have a look 51 to 57 51 to 57 51 to 57 volume 7 comma 4 issue 4 51 to 57 so this is the right and appropriate way to write down the references in your research paper, in your report of final year project, even in your presentation of your final year project. So this is the authentic and proper way of writing this, uh, writing the references. Hopefully it is clear to all of you. One thing I want to tell you, for example, I am writing any paragraph and taking anything, for example, introduction and this one and i want to take any paragraph from the research paper this research paper so what i have to do for example i have taken like a concrete introduction for example it's up to you how much amount you are taking from the research paper so control c and i am moving to the copied it and i am moving to the word document and i am putting in into the introduction so i wrote it concrete is mixture of cement sand gravel and water concrete is the most important obviously it is not bold because it i have already put into the heading so it is coming like that so let me tell you what it is estimated that current composition of concrete in the world is of order this 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 blah 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 so what i have to do let me rub this for example i have only one reference over here and i am not going to write down another reference right now so i have taken from the, this research paper so what i have to write, write down here i will take a square bracket over here and i will mark it like this now what does it mean by that i have taken this paragraph from that research paper which research paper the research paper is written by tejasvi chaudhary kasuma tejasvi and ch devi which is published in the 2020 year and the title of the research paper is a study on mechanical properties of concrete using marble dust and rice husk cash which was published in international journal of innovative research and technology the volume number seven issue is four and page number is from 51 to 57 so this is the way to cite uh, citation 
how can you uh, if you are taking any paragraph any line from any research paper so you should put it down accordingly according to the references which you are giving the number so why did i put one here uh, because it this reference is at the number one and keep it in mind whatever the reference you are giving to it in your research paper so what you have to do you have to do you have to bring it into a sequence. For example, I have a research paper. I'm just giving you an example. A second, and I have a second reference paper and I have taken, for example, in another research paper, I'm just giving you an example. I am taking this paragraph from another research paper, not in this research paper, you can imagine. So what you have to, I will do here, I will put it here. And for example, I'm saying I have taken it from another research paper. So on which research papers, the reference which I have put it at number two. So I will put it here. This is number two. So this is the way to uh, do your citation. How can you make your references proper and in a sequence, whatever the prescribed format it is given to you in some research papers. So there are some different formats, but in the final year project, in most of the research paper that this format is uh, normally are uh, following here following everywhere so what you have to do you have to follow this technique and this is the way to write down the references hopefully you will understand what i want to tell you hopefully it will be clear to all of you if you uh, find this video helpful for you so must write down in my comment box of my youtube videos and must tell me how uh, uh, these my videos are helpful for you and uh, are you getting something uh, good or positive so, or not so your feedbacks are very much important because these are uh, your positive feedback even your negative feedbacks are the strength of my youtube channel so if you will find this video helpful so must write on me and don't forget to subscribe me and follow me on www.nahishazad.blogspot.com thank you so much and hopefully you will write the proper format after that. Thank you. Okay, now friends, what you have to do after watching my videos, you should have to subscribe to Engineer Nahid Shahzad YouTube channel and follow me at www.nahidshahzad.blogspot.com. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye-bye.